and uh, the character in the box with Eric Peters, Joe Lesnar. Look, I'm not going to shy away from saying this. Joe Lesnar's behaving like a clown. He's jumping around yeah. all over the place. But he could be proved to be a genius if Peters goes on. I would love to know as much as everybody else. Um, so Joe's my, been my mentor performance coach since 2019 when I first started shooting internationally. Ron and him, him came to a decision that, you know, we wanted someone just to make me comfortable, make me laugh, have some, have some fun and realize how absolutely absurd it is to be there. The 10. A 6-4 victory for Eric Peters from Canada. I didn't really have a clear idea of how much he was going to be acting up. I don't think I've ever felt more relaxed. I've always been super nervous, weak at the knees, high heart rate, feel my heart pump just pounding through my chest. I was just, I was laughing, having fun, right? Shooting arrows in bad weather. Compared to just five minutes ago. Joe's just enjoying his 15 minutes of fame here, I think. I think he really is. I mean, I, I think he's... Uh, I mean, did you know he loved you? Well, yeah. Unless there's another chef in the crowd. <laughs> my first reaction was I was really shocked, I was really surprised. Because in the first time in my life, someone try to be more famous or someone try to get in front of the archer in the podium this was really surprise for me because our job as a coach always as a be guide and support our archers because i saw that and i said my coach what is this do he like good thing for me i don't like if someone Yelling me, I think just I have to beat him. I have to beat him, and this is good for me actually. <laughs> I mean, mentally, if you try to rise up his archer, your archer's mindset, and same time his uh, blood tension and also heart rate will go up too. His body starts shaking during the full draw, during the aiming, and this was his in, 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 inconsistency and. I mean, in obviously we saw it. He shot 30, but he shot 23 too. Then, which one do you want? We have a word in Turkey. Eh? Uh, any broken watch can show the correct time two times in a day. You can have bad, good ends, but in the average, I don't see any benefit on it. I think purposely trying to distract somebody at full draw, maybe not. You know, kind of out of respect when someone else is shooting, but. Then again, I think archery is a little bit too quiet. If someone's next to you and they're shooting and someone else is talking like, and you can't shoot through that and that's a distraction, then well, like you shouldn't be up there. And Mete Gazos is going to repeat that feat from Daryl Pace here in 2023. A quick shot from Peters, but the celebrations have already begun. Um, I, I have some show you know but after competition when someone lose after i have show but in the competition this is not the uh, archery same reason people don't yell and scream and clap and golf right it's the etiquette of the sport but i don't think it's wrong does it need to be at that level? No, probably not. Us being so serious and stoic all the time, I think that's just what we've always done. Have some fun with it. Like, it's we're not doing anything that serious. It's the most serious, unserious thing we will ever do in our lives.